Starting university can be a really stressful process and so I thought I'd run through some of the terms that first confused me when I was beginning university. The term seminar might be completely new to you. So a seminar is when a smaller group of people, usually between 10 and 20, will come together and they will discuss a topic. You can ask questions, you can give your viewpoints on a topic. So seminars are a great way to like, increase your knowledge on things that you've learnt in lectures. So a lecture is where your entire cohort, so everyone who's doing your course, will come together for perhaps one or two hours and the lecturer will talk about a topic that you need to know for your course. Workshops are similar to seminars in terms of size, but they're more hands-on and you learn by actively doing something. They're course dependent, but you could be doing anything from a medical scenario to learning how to use a camera or even learning how to code. They're a great way of learning your subject by actually doing it. Next up is halls of residence. Now, when you tell someone that you're going to university, they normally say, are you staying in halls? But what are halls? Halls are basically just student accommodation, so chances are you are staying in halls. In Lincoln, there's student accommodation, which is usually shared flats with other first years, and they're all really, really close to campus. So whether you're on campus or off campus in halls, you'll be very, very close to where you need to be. Okay, so I've realized I've said campus quite a lot, and you may not know what that is. Basically, campus is the entire university. It's its buildings and the areas that it's in. The great thing about Lincoln is it's a campus university, so everything is confined to one place rather than dotted around the city. Grades confused me quite a lot when I first started university, but they're really easy to understand once you know the boundaries of them. So anything above a 70 is a first, anything between 60 and 69 is a 2-1, anything between 50 and 59 is a 2-2, two two, and anything between 40 and 49 is a third. You all have your own measure of success, so aim for what you think you can achieve and I'm sure you'll do really well at university. So, referencing. You may have had to do this in sixth form or at college, but when you write lots of essays, as you have to do at university, that's where referencing comes in, because you quote people, and so when you quote, you have to say where you got that information from, rather than claiming it as your own. There are many different styles of referencing, and you can get referencing guides from the university library. If there's any terms that you still don't understand, make sure you check out our jargon buster on the Learning at Lincoln site.